Hey, y'all. Let me show y'all what I got in the mail and a Hot Topic. Where's my sticker? My little sticker. I love him. He's going on my TV that's over there. And then I picked up Jack, the last Jack. I realize people hate when I unbox them. Um, but I don't care. The boxes take up more room and I can't afford to have less room in my room. Look at him. He's so cute. He's a Hot Topic exclusive because on the box you have like this Jack, but he doesn't have the little snake thing. He's supposed to glow in the dark like under a black light. I ironically enough don't have a black light. Um, but that's okay because I love him just the way he is. And I also, Jesus, <laughs> got a package in. I got the whole box set of friends <laughs> off Macari for only like 50 bucks when it's originally like a hundred at Walmart or some shit. Um, which is great. I need the scissors again. Oh, it comes with a little book. Cool. We have seasons one through five, my personal favorites. But this is so exciting. This is probably what I'm going to watch right now. And then 6 through 10. That's all. I just got back from work. And I'm tired and bored. And hot. It's like 95 out. Not fun. But it's pretty when you're not in the heat. Baby, she's my favorite. This is not even a date. It's not. It's just two people going out to dinner and not having sex. Sounds like a date to me. Sounds like a date to me. Sticker. I probably won't do the back just because, you know, like, I don't see it. Uh, but I get all my stickers from Hot Topic, by the way, in case you were wondering. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, how many times am I going to buy something from Hot Topic? The world may never know. Anyways, look at these funky earrings. There are teeth. Can you see them with butterflies? I'm gonna take off the teeth jars and make them into their own separate earrings and then keep the butterfly ones. So I got a two for one, technically. And then these stupid little figurine things are ruining my life. How many do I need? Them all is the answer. Well, I got Susie from the Rugrats. I got Angelica from the Rugrats. And as you know, I already have Chucky. Um, and then this is for my friend because she saw they released it today at our Hot Topic and she's like, can you pick me up? I'm like, bet. I need the BOGO 30 anyways. Anyways, now I'm going over to my friend's house um, and I'm hanging out with Shopping Autumn and we haven't hung out since we saw Halsey, which was like almost a month ago. So there's that. Uh, very excited. Shelby got a new cat. Her name is Sage and Shelby's never had a cat. I'm not allowed to have a cat. Um, so I'm very excited that this cat shall be my goddaughter, essentially, because none of us are having kids. And I can't have a cat, so. But yeah, actually, let me unbox Angelica and Susie first and put them where I want them to go. Why is Angelica's bratty in real life if she's in the show? Why don't she come out of her box? What's her doll's name again? Do y'all see? What was that? What's what the hell is that doll's name? She's so cute. Let me get Susie. Is 
table kind of stands. Chucky didn't come with a stand. I mean, he's standing on his own by himself, which is great, but what did my man ever do to y'all? Look at her little pigtails. She's so cute. Hang on, let me show you where I'm gonna put her. Amen. Angelica included. Oh shit, that is stuck on my fucking shoe. Um, as you can see, I have not all of my Rugrats tapes because I still have more over here. Can I fit all three of them here? Gotta move Boogie Boogie. Like Chucky goes like this. Angelica. I can fit all three. They look a little crowded, but cute. Adorable. Also, I don't think I'm getting Tommy. Solely because he can't fit in the box and he kind of looks creepy. <laughs> you see what I mean? Chucky doesn't have a stand. He doesn't even need one. Oh, sorry, Susie. Freaking adorable. First time I've gotten like properly ready in a very long time. Yeah, that helped. Um, the shirt is Swix, Maggie Zinnerman, the pants are Hot Topic, my shoes are Converse, my rings. This is from Shein, shop near my house, Hot Topic. Both of these are from Shein. Uh, this necklace is from Spencer's. And then my earrings. They're little teeths and jars. Oh. Come on. Those are from Hot Topic as well, except they came attached to, where did I put them? Oh, here. They came attached to these butterflies. Like, it was the butterfly, and then it was the, the jar of teeth. So I just took them off and made two different pairs of earrings. Anyways, um, I'm going to Walmart, and then I'm going to the plant shop, because my piece of light is kind of dying. So I'm going to put that one in the kitchen to hopefully get him more light. And, you know, come back to life. And then I'm going to replace them. And I feel weird whispering that. But I feel bad saying that. Because I love my plants. But he's not doing well. And y'all know. Once a piece of it decides it wants to die. It's going to die. <laughs> like there's nothing I can do to save him really.
Y'all, y'all, I got I got tickets to the Trinity of Terrors War Part 2, and I'm so excited because it's, it's my four favorite bands. And they play Grand Rapids, Michigan back in April, and I couldn't go because Grand Rapids is like five hours away from me. So I finally, 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 I finally get to see Motion in some way, but I get to see Ice Nine Kills, Black Belt Rides, and Crown the Empire as well. It's like my own baby Warp Tour. I was never allowed to go to Warp Tour because I started listening to that music when I was like 11. And my mom didn't let my brother go when he was my age and when he was in high school. So she's like, I'm not letting you go either as it's only fair. And then they stopped it when I was a senior in high school. And I was finally 18 and I could have went by myself. But now I'm seeing all of these bands individually and that's great. Because I also, I don't know if I ever told you, I got tickets to Pio Royal. Um, and Modson's opening for them. And I love Mod. I actually have a tattoo. My TV tattoo's for Modson. And I saw him back in January of like... 2018, I think I was 17 at the time or something like that, at the shelter. Um, so that's great. I could see them again, and I finally could see Pyro Royale. Also, Remington, he gives me such gender envy. I want to look like that man so bad. It's it's ridiculous. And one of my most viewed TikToks is me saying that. Who else am I seeing? I'm seeing Bring Me the Horizon, Knocked Loose. I know Sick Brain is also opening, and I love Sick Brain. There's two other bands too, isn't there? There's a lot of bands playing that day, but I'm seeing them in October. Um, and then my next concert coming up is actually The Pretty Reckless, Hailstorm, Lil' Cesar, In The Warning. Y'all, I'm gonna die that day. I love all of those people, but I've been wanting to see The Pretty Reckless since I was like fucking 12. And I'm 21. It's been almost a decade and I haven't been able to see them. Okay, the other artist is Grandson. I don't know them. I think I know maybe one or two songs. Um, but I'm sure I'll, I'll listen to them. I like knowing the openers before I go. But I'm so excited. This is, one, the best year of my life for concerts, but the best year of my life in general. <clears throat> There's a hair. But I'm seeing most of these artists for the first time, and that's so exciting. I think the only artists I've seen... It is going to be Chase Atlantic. I'm seeing them again for the third time. Um, July. July something. I can't remember. And then I'm going to, obviously, Mods. I'm seeing again. But everyone else, I'm seeing for the first time. I love first-hand experiences. And, yeah, I just wanted to share that because I was excited. And I'm going to stay excited. And I can't wait till my mom gets home because I was going to have her wake me up for the general free sale. And then I realized that I'm an emotional and white fan. Like, I follow them on bands in town and shit like that. So I got a pre-sale code. I'm like, well, bet. Now I don't have to be woken up at 7 a.m. What is up? Do you like my shirt? It says don't do drugs. I got it from Hot Topic. Anyways, I'm excited. Also, this stool I put here, perfect for my height to put this camera on. I'm secretly a genius. Now, how do I open this? I don't know if I said it earlier in this video or in the video I just filmed is a room tour by the way I don't know if it will be up before or after this video um but I have a little spot can you see over there that's empty next to friends and I have two broke girls coming in tomorrow it was supposed to come in today but FedEx is like mm, nope sorry we lied it'll be tomorrow at least I have something to look forward to after I get home from work but this took a while to ship because the post office on the seller's end was not doing things right, so they went down there and they figured it out, and then they sent me again. And I got the first two seasons of George Lopez. I have yet to be able to find anyone who's selling the third through the sixth, um, if they make them. If you know where, please tell me. I just, I find it funny that the first season has only four episodes, but season two is 28 episodes long. Um, I think I'm gonna take out the 70 show, which is season seven. This guy keeps calling him. Um, and then I'm gonna put in George Lopez. I think 
this is season one. It doesn't say on the disc. I have to get them a rating. I love George Lopez, and having it on this TV is going to be very nostalgic because I used to watch it on this TV because I had this type of TV hanging from my wall when I was a kid, um, and I loved George Lopez. My mom's like, you can't watch this. You're, you're seven, and I would hide behind the couch, and I would watch it. This is what it looks like over there, by the way. Yeah. I'll probably move friends down once I get uh, two birth girls in to see, you know, the size difference, but yeah. Dope. Chase Atlantic finally released 21. Very excited. Anyways, I got package. I just drank Gatorade. Speaking of which, the Glacier flavors, the Frost Gatorade, I'm not a big fan. Anyways, this is what I've been waiting for. It's a whole series of two broke girls. I started watching this, I want to say April. Finished all the seasons twice on TBS, and now I own it on DVD, as I should. Very excited. This is probably going to pop in the first season right about now. Oh, I also got two new shirts because Hot Topic put a shit ton of t-shirts on their $10 rack. So I bought this one, which I've had my eye on for a while, but I didn't want to pay full price for. Oh, come on. It's the Happy Bunny shirt. But it says, I just don't listen. And I brought home a pin of this, and my mom took it and put it on her hat. And I'm like, Mom, that pin was for me, but I guess you can have it. And then I'm, this is another one I didn't want to pay full price for. It. So just leave me alone. There. I don't, I don't know what it says down there, and I hate the fact that Hot Topic just puts random... I don't know what language that is, so I'm not even going to try to guess. Yeah, no. Um, but there's a ghost face shirt there that has random letters in a different language like that. And I'm like, I have no idea what this means. And there's no way I can Google Translate it. So, but I mainly got this one as a pajama shirt, so that's fine. And if anybody knows, please let me know. He's so cute. I got the other one mainly as a pajama shirt, too. And it seems weird to buy t-shirts for PI purposes, but... Buy one, get one 30% off. They were like seven bucks each. A steal. No, 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 give her like four seconds to learn her lesson. Okay, ow! 